Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to yet a another video on using the Vince Resolve on the iPad. So in this video, I'll just show you very quickly a couple of tips uh, on how to do stuff. So first off, I'll show you how to do a new timeline. You do that by pressing and hold. Then we have this menu coming up and we are simply just going to use create new timeline. And all of this is good. However, if we want to change this, as you see here with the time code, so it's not going to go zero, one, oh, 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 we can just change that by clicking here. And I'm going to get my keyboard up here, like that. And I'm just going to erase that and I'm going to put in a zero. And I'm going to say OK, and I'm going to create. Um, so now my time code has no one in, and that sometimes is what you want to do. Another small little trick is just how to actually. If I just want to take this clip here with me, uh, but I don't want to use the audio, how do I actually do that? I simply do that by clicking over here at this icon, which is a frame, and I can then just drag the whole clip down here, and now I should have no audio whatsoever. I'm just going to redo that. So if I have this clip again, and I just want to take the audio, how do I do that? I do that by selecting this note icon right here, and I can then just drag this down, and I'm going to put that here, but nothing is happening. Why is that? That is because I need to create another layer. So I'm just going to drag my audio again, and I'm going to drag it all the way down here and let go, because now I have created a audio layer, and um, now I can take my video layer here again, and now these are actually divided from each other. So when I do a cut, as you see here, I'm cutting it only in the selected layer. And in this case, this is the video layer. So this is not the optimal way of doing it if you are doing a talking head. But if you're using music and stuff like that underneath, this is the way you could import that in. So a couple of tips on the DaVinci Resolve iPad version that might be helpful if you are new to this. Anyway, I do hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share with your friends if you think it would help them out, and if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning, and keep sharing.